welcome to Sunday Vespers and happy Valentine's Day. Or as my father used to say with a very strong and thick Pennsylvania Dutch accent, happy Valentine's Day. So the background to the reading this evening is um, a, a time I was in college church in Walston, Massachusetts a few years ago and uh, uh, decided I, I want to observe worship and participate in worship from the balcony. They have a beautiful balcony that wraps around the whole sanctuary there. And so I went up to the balcony for worship and uh, something happened in that balcony during that worship that I, that I got home and wrote about. Uh, it's entitled The Girl in the Balcony. It goes like this. The words on the big screen were out of sync with the words being sung, which were out of sync with the tune the band played. However, she did not seem to mind. She did not seem to care. Perhaps she did not even notice. She was playing with crayons and the ribbon in her hair. Not yet quite an artist, she colored on both sides of the lines. The lines formed the picture of a bearded man. Perhaps he was a prophet or a beggar or, or Jesus. The electric guitars and the acoustic drums were too loud for some folk and too quiet for others. But she did not seem to notice or mind or care. She was whispering something to the purple-haired, green-bearded, pink-sandaled man in the picture. The leader asked us to stand, and so we did. It was time to pray. Somewhere in the middle of adoration, thanksgiving, petition, and intercession, he implored us to join in the recitation of an ancient yet timeless prayer. Then, suddenly flying through the din of mechanical repetition like a bluebird cutting through the mist of an April morning, the high-pitched voice of a little angel tapped on the door of my soul. From somewhere beside me, innocence and faith tossed a lasso around my heart. I opened my eyes. I had to look. I hope the Lord did not mind. Standing there beside me was the little girl with the ribbon in her hair, cranes in her folded hands, and her eyes closed. Unaware now of anything except her voice, I allowed the joy to cascade over my being. She recited, Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On a Sunday morning in New England, I wiped a tear or two of joy while the girl in the balcony prayed, Forgive us our debts as we forgive. And while she continued to pray, it became very clear to me that Jesus was not the man with the green beard, but that he was in the heart of the little girl. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, on this Valentine's Day, I would want to thank you for how you reveal your love to us. And it happens in so many ways for me, Lord. I see your love exemplified in your creation over and over and over again. I see it exemplified in your church and your people and in my family. Thank you, Lord, for showing us how much you love us. Thank you for the image we should never, ever put aside, that of the cross. The cross of Jesus Christ. The cross that exemplifies that God so loved the world, he gave his only son. So on this day, Lord, that we celebrate and the world muddies in many, many different ways, we pray that you'd help us to keep our love for you holy, for your love for us is holy. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. I'll see you next week.